Hello everybody and welcome back to Spreading Science. My name is Gustavo Herz Huber. In this video I'm going to talk to you about some popular myths and I'm going to give you the scientific explanation. So, for example, have you ever heard that a lightning bolt can, cannot strike a place twice? Or have you heard about astrology and astronomy? I give you the difference between these two, among other myths. If you like the video, please give it a like Share, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and follow me also on Facebook and Instagram. Welcome to this new video. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. This myth is not only wrong, it's dangerously wrong. Lightning often strikes the same place twice, at least within a close vicinity. If you find yourself standing around outdoors during a lightning storm, there is no outdoors man or forecaster who'd recommend you go stand where lightning has already struck, as if you are somehow protected at that spot. Instead, you need to find shelter, stay away from windows, and avoid touching anything metal or electrical. And it's always a good idea to suspend your golf game or kite flying till the storm passes. We have five senses. Besides the five empirical senses, sight visual, sound auditory, touch tactile, taste gustatory, and smell olfactory, there are at least four other senses that are rarely sighted. Proprioception, sensing one's orientation in space. Thermoception, sense of temperature. Equilibroception, sense of balance. And nociception, our sense of pain, different to touch. The next time someone talks about their five senses, you can say that you have nine senses and then sit back and let them think you have superpowers. Human beings evolve from apes. Even the most rabid critics and most rabid supporters of evolution can agree on this point. The standard evolutionary account is that human beings and the higher apes, gorillas, bonobos, orangutans, etc., evolved from a common ancestor often referred to as the missing link. Humans did evolve from an ancestor that was far more ape-like than humans, but this is far from saying that humans evolved from apes. Humans did not evolve from chimps, rather they shared a common ancestor. Bats are blind. Bats see in black and white, and at night they see better than we do. They lack color receptors, but in low light, we can't see colors either. Try it sometime. On a dark night or in a pitch black room, turn on a flashlight and point it at something colorful. Then slowly cover the light till that color fades into shades of black and white. Perhaps this myth about bland bats arose from the fact that bats don't see as well as we can in daylight, or because they have sonar and can navigate without sight. They see just fine for their environment. Bulls become angry at the color red. Bulls and other cattle are partially colorblind and cannot see the color red. They are, however, testy and defensive creatures that will charge when threatened, frightened, angry, or just annoyed. Their fight or flight instinct is simply biased towards fight. In bullfights, the matador may wield a red cape, the muleta, but it is the matador's taunting, threats, and overall behavior that make the bull charge. Astrology. According to 60s soul pop group The Fifth Dimension, this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius, or at least it was back in 1969. Apparently, the current pattern and position of stars many light years away from here is supposed to inform us about the geopolitical outlook of human civilization. Astrology is also supposed to tell us things regarding our birthdays. Each of us was born in certain months corresponding to our own zodiac signs. Aquarius, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Pisces. The Chinese zodiac offers 12 different avatars. And somehow each of these signs, describing a pattern of stars in the sky currently or at the time of our birth, is also supposed to tell us about ourselves, our fortune, and our fate. How so? Well, that's the problem. Modern science took a different turn when it came to studying stars. Astronomy got picked for the team, 
and astrology was left standing in the cold, estranged from science. Modern science distinguished theories by their predictive power, testability, and essentially the scientific method. While astronomy made the cut, astrology did not. Its theories are too esoteric, supernatural, vague, unfalsifiable, or generally unreliable. However, even though astrology hasn't passed muster as real science, it survives today largely in the form of amusing horoscopes and dodgy singles bars. As you could see on this video, many of these myths are considered by the popular culture as true. So please share the video with your friends to show them the real story, the scientific explanation for these myths. If you like the video, please give it a like, share, subscribe to the channel, and follow me also on Facebook and Instagram. This would help me a lot. Thank you very much and see you next time.